He's doing good. I mean, he's, uh, he's not going to practice today, so he won't play tomorrow would be the answer. Uh, but I think he's pretty close. Yeah. And then everybody else, uh, Luke is out too. Um, Luke. Every else is the go though for Saturday. Yeah. Play. Yeah. Luke. Yeah, he's got a, I think a calf. Something on his body is hurting. <laughs> I'm actually, right, right. I do think it's his calf, but I'm not sure. Uh, don't, 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 don't hold me to that one. It may be his, it's, is it his calf? It's something on his legs. Yeah. It's not, not bad, but we just, it's too early to take a chance. Do you think Milos will come back at all in the preseason at this point? I hope so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's moving, so um, I, we don't have, but, you know, a couple games left, so hopefully soon. Over the years, we talked about a like, short preseason. Yeah. Are you still in, in favor of that? Or would you like I'm, in the, I'm in short of the, the uh, shortening the preseason games, which right. is what they've done. I'm not in short with the shortened practice time. Yeah, I think that's dangerous for our guys. Um, personally, I I just think even though you guys come in camp in way better shape than they ever did, they still don't play basketball at the intensity level. And to go from uh, zero to 60 uh, lends itself to injury. I just believe that. Like, um, you know, camp used to be two weeks, three weeks, a month. Now it's five and six days, uh, and you're playing an exhibition game. Uh, you, you go from maybe playing pickup ball in the summer three times a week, maybe some even twice a week, to you go five straight days now, uh, bam, of basketball, in some, in some cases two a days. Uh, and they're right in the preseason, and, you know, listen, I, I, I can only go by what I've seen. And last year, beginning of the year, a lot of strains, a lot of pulls, a lot of injuries, and I don't think that's a coincidence. So based on that, how are you going to put a game this period? You, you do what you got to do. You just, uh, fortunately, we got a lot of players. So uh, our, our loads aren't as high, probably, um, even in practice probably not as high so you know I, I think that helps um, I don't have an answer like that's the thing I don't have an answer because you have to practice you have to get your team ready and um, when you're doing it you're thinking I hope we stay healthy you know they are but I don't know how you do that like um, you can't mock the NBA you just can't you can you can actually play pickup all summer. It's still not, when you go to camp, it's a whole different intensity. Uh, and the players are better. And, and they're, you know, so you can't mock that. After Shea said in Hawaii, he felt like he'd been pretty prepared in the second half of Lakers. Yeah, he's dead. And that's the point. Like, you can practice, you can run. I mean, I had a couple injuries in my career, and I worked my butt off, and I knew I was in great shape. And then the first three minutes of the real game, I was out there dying because adrenaline burns energy too and um, you don't have a lot of adrenaline when you're working out by yourself so. I didn't hear you just continuity really I mean uh, I like what we're at I like what we're doing um, you know you can always improve this defensively but at the end of the day just continuity on Wednesday, the annual GM survey came out and Shea was going to the biggest deal of the draft. What does that mean to you guys for him to get that type of recognition already? Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, it, it really does. I'm being honest. Like, that's great. Uh, it means that our staff did a good job uh, of finding a player. But it's, it's not, you know, like I tell everyone, uh, the draft day is a number. Uh, it's what you do the rest of your career is really what defines and I think Shea's play hopefully will make all those GMs very smart because I think it will, but he, he hasn't yet, but it will. I mean, Shea's terrific. Like, he's, he's got a chance to be really special, but having a chance of being special and being special, that's, that's two different things. So. Sunday's game was all about giving the vets a lot of time. Wednesday, some of the young guys. What's tomorrow? Is there an emphasis on? Both? No, just both. You know, I'm going to do a little bit of both. You know, no matter how the game is going, uh, I'm going to play the young guys. I'm going to play the vets. I'm going to play them together. Um, you know, 
We have so many different combinations that we can try it out there, and we're going to use them all. I mean, obviously it was a real game. There's no, no way the subs, the, co the combination that I'll play tomorrow, I would do in a real game. But that's what exhibition season is for, to do some of that. And it's also like what Brad was talking about. It's, it's another way of giving guys rest, not playing them 35 minutes in the exhibition game. Are you planning on resting the other better tomorrow? Again? We may. We're going to win one of the two games, but we're not sure yet which one. I have no idea. You know, um, I'm sure that's natural, uh, but I, I, I may have to convince them that you don't get a win for it. Uh, doesn't count. But um, listen, I think whenever you play, even exhibition games, you should try to win the game. And it doesn't really matter like um, who you have on the floor. You know, um, I watched the Laker game last night, and at the end of the game, LeBron was on the bench. They still wanted to win. You know, so I don't think uh, unless sports has changed and the game has changed, and it has in some ways, uh, you should always want to win. You have such a history of LeBron in the East. Yeah. Did it take some getting used to to see him in clip on gold? No, I'm pretty. When I see him, you know, you can't. He can't disguise like that's. There's LeBron. You know, like it, it, you make no mistake about that. You know, uh, he he's not going to slip into anywhere. You know, I don't even think LeBron can slip into a restaurant. You know, there's LeBron. There's no doubt. It's like OJ with the stocking cap. <laughs> yeah, you knew who you knew that was OJ, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you see, see him go from one conference to the next. Yeah, it's different. Yes. It's no doubt. I mean, um, and it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But LeBron is LeBron. Uh, LeBron has played well against the East, and he's played well against the West. So he's going to continue. LeBron is not. He's going to continue to play well, um, and he should because. You know, everyone talks about LeBron's talent. No one talks about his work ethic, you know. He's in better shape than most of the league. And that says something about LeBron to me, that uh, I think because he's so talented, everyone just dismisses that. But LeBron is in better shape. When you watch him, you can see he's in better shape than 99.9% .9 of the league. And it, the lesson there for all the guys who aren't as in good a shape, is how are you going to beat LeBron if he's already better and he's in better shape? It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Are you surprised that he went to the Lakers? I don't care one way or the other. So I didn't, I didn't like wake up and say, "Oh my God, I'm shocked" or anything like that. So honestly, I could care less one way or the other. What are your thoughts on him becoming uh, an incredible social? He's always been an incredible social presence. You know, uh, you know, LeBron has overachieved in his career. You know. Uh, because I don't think anyone has come in with the billing ever in sports, in basketball, with the billing of him. So he was set up not to, to succeed. Like, there's no way he was going to outdo what everybody thought he would do, and he has done that. And then he's never had an off-the-court issue, ever, nothing. Um, and then he goes past that and does all these things off the floor. He speaks up when he should speak up. Like, I don't know if there's been a better role model. Uh, he's been great. He's been great. And he's, you know, he's more than an athlete.